This whole project started to save the species from extinction. Pygmy hog was once thought to be extinct. This project was launched when the situation became drastic and it was feared that we'll lose the species because they were reduced to one single population in the entire world and there was a, not a single captive animal alive by the time we started this project in 1996. We started when there was only a small population left in Manash National Park. And uh, we started uh, this uh, captive breeding program using six animals from the last surviving world population. We increased their number till a point we wanted to release them. But uh, first we wanted to work on the habitat and manage it properly before we could release them. So we started this process in 2007 and in 2008 we started releasing them. In first in Sonairupai Wildlife Sanctuary and now in Orang National Park. And last part of their life in captivity, they are spending five months in a pre-release enclosures. And in that enclosures, they are learning how to survive in the wild. They are looking for their own food, building the nest, and then they are not seeing any other human for five, five months. And then we move them here, keeping them here for three nights and they establish, uh, they know, start knowing the place, they also build their nest and today we release them. Over the last, say, eight years, we have already released 94 animals into the wild from the six original which we got from the wild. And we maintain about 50, 60 animals in captivity and produce uh, new species. So we want to populate new areas wherever they used to be found earlier and reintroduce. While they, it makes it very poor survivor, for us, for conservationists and for the scientists and for the managers, they are very important species because they become very sensitive indicators. So they are actually barometer of their grassland habitat. So if you manage the habitat for a sensitive species like pygmy hog or for example big Bengal florican spit hare, which are also sensitive indicator species, then you don't have to bother so much about rhinoceros, tigers, elephant, which uh, uh, if as long as they are protected from getting shot, they will do well.